Okay, hi guys. I'm here to discuss an experiment for a thigh restore, which is uh, pertaining to SCR, silicon control rectifier. And the objective is to determine the characteristic curve of an SCR. So I'm using a multi sim program here. Uh, this will uh, be our program to be used for the simulation for this experiment. So in this circuit, I have created uh, an SCR circuit using this part number MCR103G. On the left side, I have created a trigger circuit supplying 5 volts, a potentiometer, and another resistor to define the current. So in this setup, I set it up at 12% so that I can achieve a trigger kit current of 9.104 microampere. On the other part of the circuit, uh, this will be the supply 100 volts, a potentiometer to serve as the variable uh, supply for the uh, SCR circuit, a uh, load of 2 kilo ohm. I placed here an ammeter to read out the anode current, a uh, voltmeter to read out the voltage across the anode to cathode part of the SCR and another voltmeter for the voltage supply. So let's uh, turn on the circuit. So I have initially set this uh, trigger current and we will just need to manipulate uh, this supply in order to check uh, what will be the trigger value or the voltage to turn on the SCR using this gate current. So uh, initially I set the potentiometer at 10% that is equal to 10% of 100 volts that's a 10 volts DC supply. And if you will notice the SCR is currently turned off. There is no current passing through this circuit. Now uh, I'll increment this increasing gradually 15% then 20% at 20% the supply is around 20 volts. The SCR is still open with the drop of still 20 volts. Let me increase further. 30%, 35%, 40%. So at 40%, the voltage supply is at 40 volts already. And still, the SCR is not yet conducting. At 45%, the SCR actually triggered on because, as you will see, the voltage drop suddenly decreased. It is now 0.515 volt. And we have now a, a significantly large amount of current passing through this circuit. It's 14 milliamps. If we will increase further, the SCR is already on. The voltage, if you see the voltage across the SCR is already almost constant while I am increasing the supply. It's already near 0.5 volts while the current is increasing as we increase the supply voltage. So that is the property of the SCR. If we will plot the points, we will get this initial characteristic curve. So we increase the volts, supplying the SCR, and when we reach around 40 volts, after which the SCR already moved to conducting state, and the voltage drop across the diode or the SCR, the VAK is now already around 0.5 volts, very small, while the current continue to increase. Now, if we will, if, if we will gonna check what will be the effect, if we will gonna make the supply negative or in the reverse bias, so we'll just replace this with negative 100 volts. Then turn on the circuit. Let's start at 5% or 0%. Then increase gradually. Uh, 
Okay, let's start at 10%. At 10%, the voltage should, supply should be at negative 10 volts. The voltage drop across the diode is the same, negative 10 volts. Increasing gradually, at, at negative 20 volt supply, the voltage drop across the SCR is still negative 20 or the same. Increasing gradually, if you will notice these two voltage uh, meter, voltmeters, they are still the same, no matter how I increase the negative voltage supply. That is because the SCR is not conducting on the negative uh, region or on the negative voltage. Okay, let's uh, return this to a positive 100 volts. Now, what, what will happen if I adjusted the trigger gate current? So, let me adjust this further to a higher value. Well, let me turn off the SCR again. Okay. So, now the SCR is off. I will now increase this to around uh, 20%. At 20%, the total gate current is now at around 15 microampere or 0 0.015 milliamps. Now, let's see what will happen after changing the trigger gate current. As we, as we will recall uh, a while ago, the SCR turned on at around 40 volts. Now, let's increase this again gradually. At 10%, the SCR is off. At 20%, the supply is 20 volts. SCR is also dropping out at 20 volts uh, voltage. At 30%, the SCR is still off. 29.898 volts or around 30 volts. At 35%, oops, so see, at 35%, the voltage drop across the SCR becomes around 0.5 volts. So, which means we have been triggered or the voltage was triggered earlier at around 30 volts using a higher gate current. And we have significantly increased the uh, anode current here. And as we go further with a higher supply, the increase in anode current also follows.